Hi everyone, Peter Luciaga here. I hope you guys are doing great today. I wanted to come on here and just share something with you uh, that I had to actually do research for myself and uh, had a couple of aha moments uh, simply because I have several parents that came to our school. Of course, you guys know that I'm, just, I'm one of the instructors at Donato Karate Center in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. If you want to find out more about our program, definitely go to DonatoKarate.com and uh hey guys uh, just a little sidebar there i, I did, it's, this is not supposed to be a commercial anyway but i can't help it but we do have a, 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 a making appointments for anyone that's interested in finding out about our martial arts program and i've been having appointments all week and it's been really really uh, extremely exciting a lot of parents this week for some reason or another maybe it's because of the holidays I don't know. I'm sure it's probably because of the holidays, but they're coming in this week. I'm getting a lot of phone calls, a lot of people contacting me text wise uh, because uh, they want to help their children with um, being um, confident and uh, um, being focused and controlling their energy. The, all these things this week, parents are giving me a call and saying that they have this problem, that problem, and uh, we need a solution for the problem. And so I saw that there was this theme this week uh, that a lot of problems in families with parents, with their kids. And so I find myself really sitting down and helping parents solve their problems. Now, that's what I do as a martial arts instructor at the Nava Karate Center is that I help parents solve a problem and a lot of times it's with their kids but not only with their kids but it's also sometimes with them but uh hey i just want to let you guys know if you want to make an appointment with me give me a call at 856-235-0414 just just let uh let me know that you heard about me through this and then we'll make an appointment you come on in either today or tomorrow if you have a problem right now whether your child has all this energy maybe because of the holidays they're excited whatever but they're a bit out of control and they're three and a half years old or older. And a lot of the kids that are coming in this week, we have three and a half year. I had two, I had a three and a half year old that came in yesterday and a five year old that came in yesterday and the family, same thing, help my child. I have this problem. My child's not being focused and my child is uh, not listening. They're all over the place. Help me solve this problem. And then I, a couple of days ago, uh, the day before yesterday, I had two teenagers that came in. One was 13 years old. Another one was uh, 11 years old. <coughs> Pardon me, 11 years old. And um, they said, my child, the problem is this. The problem is this. My child has no confidence. They're not standing tall. I, I need you to help me solve this problem. Give me some solutions. And of course, they all saw that martial arts was uh, a possibility to be a solution. I've been doing it for a long time. And so as far as I'm concerned, martial arts is definitely a solution to help solve a problem. So anyway, give me a call, 856-235-0414. And again, this is not supposed to be a commercial. I don't want it to be a commercial, but I can't help but um, give you guys that information if you uh, want to make an appointment with me between today and tomorrow or even next week. Okay. So anyway, guys, uh, uh, it's because of the conversations that I've been having with parents, especially this week, uh, helping them solve problems. Now, uh, to uh, problem solving, solving problems has to do with you being more decisive and taking what I call massive action and massive action now, right now and deciding. So what I want to do is uh, just share with you what was told to me today when I started doing some research and got uh, connected with one of my mentors. And then he simply said this, Peter, 90% of your energy, your focus, your time and your thoughts must go into the solution not the problem and most of us have a problem we focus on the problem we find out okay why is this problem happening to me and you know what caused this problem and, and you know what you know and then we all start focusing on the problem itself where he's saying peter focus focus 90 percent of your energy time everything on the solution yes recognize there's a problem it reminds me of my uh of of our uh, ABCs of self-defense and the A that I always talk about the A. A is awareness, assessment, and action. When you become aware of a problem, 
become aware of it okay if there's a problem there's a problem i'm not saying to ignore the problem that's why he told me 90 percent of my energy 90 percent of my focus time and thought goes into the solution but the 10 percent is recognizing that you have a problem and then assessing the problem now you're going into where you're now looking at the solution this is the 90 percent now and then once you uh understand that there's a there is a solution i may not know exactly what the solution is but i'm focus on uncovering discovering um, that solution okay and then once i have an idea of a solution or several solutions move to action so focus 90 percent of your energy focus time and thoughts on the solution not the problem and believe it or not problems you know help build us up if it wasn't for problems i would not have the power um, to help parents and others solve their problems i've been through problems every day i go through problems that, and i have to come up with solutions and i've gotten pretty good at it and sometimes there'll be a problem where it just knocks me in the head and and almost knocks me out sometimes they'll knock me out i have to get up it takes me some time to get up but i know i'll get up look for a solution and move forward but i know at the other side of that problem once i've gotten through the problem i am more empowered i'm stronger i'm smarter i'm wiser and i know if you were to look back over your life and you look at your greatest learning lessons, those moments where you learned um, the greatest lesson, where you became more wise, it was through the greatest challenges of your life. And the knowledge that we pass on to our children, parents, and teachers out there, the knowledge we pass on, if we have a life lesson that we can add to that knowledge, that uh, add wisdom to that knowledge, it'd be, it's more powerful, more impactful, and has greater value and greater weight um, to the student because we have lived through it. We can simply say, look, not only do we empathize with you, but I empathize with you because I've been there. I know. And so we have more value. So problems are incredibly valuable. Okay. And we, uh, we don't want to remove that problem from our life. And I get it, guys, sometimes problems come up and it's like, dang, I, why me? We, I go through that as well, you know, but I've learned, I've learned and I have the discipline to implement the lesson to spend 90% of my focus, energy, everything on the solution. So in this video right now, I want to share three things, three things, three steps for solving problems. And there's, it's simple. I'm going to make, make it as fast as possible just for the sake of time. Uh, uh, but I think you'll get it. And you guys, many of you guys probably already know this. This is a reminder. And it's a saying that says that, you know, successful people know what to do. We just need, we, <laughs> you and I, we just need constant, never ending reminders. So this is maybe a reminder for you. So the first thing is this, once you've uh, become aware that there's a problem right away, make a decision to create a find and come up with a solution that's it focus make a decision to focus on the solution it's got to be an active uh, uh, um, decision to find a solution what's the solution here how can i make this better okay what are my, some of my options who should i speak to what should i do what can i where can i go what's where can there be a solution and what has been my experiences in the past how i solved other problems really right away make a decision to solve this problem it's, it's there you know say to yourself there is a solution there is a solution uh, to this problem to this challenge so make a decision that's number one number two is that uh, take a massive uh, uh, make massive uh, certainty about that decision in other words have this 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 power to be certain i know that there's a solution i know i know i know become obsessed with this idea and of certainty that there is a solution focus on the idea that there is a solution i may not see it right now but i am not all knowing so that means there is a solution out there i just need to work towards uncovering it discovering it finding it and then i'm certain that there's a solution so take this massive certainty attitude about the decision to find that solution okay and then once hey guys once you've uh, made that decision the next thing is is this is you take massive insane action into uncovering that solution and when you find that solution then you continue with your your active you know a, a massive action into solving it solve solve solution solutions will get it out of the way and then move on so problem solving 
uh, it's an opportunity for us as parents, as human beings, as teachers, no matter what role we play in life, a problem is an opportunity for us to implement our power to choose to take our abilities to a whole new level. Okay, guys, so three things is make a decision that there is a solution and then take massive, massive uh, mindset and attitude of this idea of certainty that there is a, this, a, a, a solution here and I will find it, I will find it, I will find it. I'm looking for it, looking for it, looking for it. When you find it, then take insane, crazy, massive action to solve it. Okay, now we have Paris this week that came into DKC to Donato Karate Center and they, they right away saw that there was a problem. Some of them, the problem was going on for a while we have some parents came in with teenagers and i know problems just don't happen overnight they typically happen over time and so but got to that point where the parents said this week i've had it and they made this uh this decision to solve it they say i am going to solve this problem and they, they were certain they said you know what martial arts and they did research many and all the parents that came to our school that called me up they do research. They go to Google right away and they do research to Nato Karate, Mount Laurel Martial Arts, and they find us. And they all say that, gosh, I saw uh, all these reviews from other parents and it was just incredible. And so I decided to give you a call. So they took massive action. They had massive certainty after they had an idea for a solution. They went to the website. They saw that martial arts could be a solution and they went deeper in finding out who they can go to. They found us and then they took massive, insane action. They called us up. They came in and a couple of them came in with their teenagers and the teenagers did not want to come. Now I have teenagers. Now if my teenager does not want to do something. They will make sure that they do. They will do all that they can <laughs> not to do it. Okay. So for that parent to bring that team to our school, uh, I know it took insane, crazy, massive action for that parent to do that. And I remember one of the com uh, conferences that I had with one of the teens, you know, in the beginning, the teen was, you know, 13 year old teen. And they said that, no, I don't want to be here. And because I asked, I asked, well, mom, you know, uh, uh, parents, you know, uh, why would, why, uh, who, I always ask whose idea was it? to come to martial arts. And the kid came out and said, it wasn't my idea. <laughs> it was funny. But the parents said, no. It's, and they pointed themselves at our idea. And you can see that the, the child, the teen, was getting a little, little fr uh, frustrated about the idea that they had to come because their parents forced them. And so, you know, I, I continued my conversation with the family, with the teen. I told the teen, I totally get it. Hey, but my job, and I told the teen, that my job was to help you make sense of why maybe martial arts might be something for you. So I took them on the tour and it worked out. But the point is the parents took massive action and based on their uh, the certainty that martial arts is a solution because they saw the reviews from other parents that here's a solution. And then they took massive action, called up, brought their child in. And now uh, they did signed their child up and uh the teen that did not want to be there by the end he said the most uh, amazing thing for me it made my day he 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 had this big smile on his face and he said i'm so glad i came today and this is a 13 year old and said i'm so glad i came today thank you and he said thank you so much and i gave him a high five i said thank you so much for coming i can't wait for you to get on the mats and for you to start working towards what i call black belt strong so anyway guys i just wanted to share this with you this idea of uh, problem solving solving problems and it's all about being more decisive and then taking massive action and i gave you the three steps okay guys so if you have any questions about our program, definitely give me a call, 856-235-0414. You can definitely go to our website, denarokarate.com, and you can definitely message me if you have any questions. Other than that, guys, have a great day. Uh, if you're a student, look forward to seeing you guys on the mats. If you're not a student, look forward to having you guys give me a call, schedule a time to uh, come on in and check us out. And if you have a problem with your child, I am certain and I'm crazy, insanely certain that 
we can help you solve that problem. Take care, have a great day.